Hello everyone! Thank you very much for watching today. Happy Friday! So today, well first, let me check my Facebook. Make sure you're seeing me live. And we are live. So today we're going to talk about what it is to be in working on your business and in your business. There's a big difference between the two. I'm going to give you examples of what those differences are, give you ideas on timing, how much time you should spend on either, uh, and uh, give you a little breakdown of like kind of what I do uh, day to day. So first, what's the definition of what's on working on your business or in your business? Now, in your business means you are working on income generating things. You're working within. You're working with buyers, sellers, showings. Uh, talking to people about uh, their purchase, working on your current transactions, uh, those are in your business. Income stuff that's going to be closing or you're working on a current client now, uh, prospecting, that's in your business. You're prospecting, working on stuff to generate business, to generate income in your business. On your business, working on your business is strategies, systems, getting your email campaign set up, working on your listing presentation, work on your buyer presentation, researching ads that you want to run, fa creating Facebook ads, uh, creating flyers, brochures, setting up your mailers. Uh, these That's working on your business because these are things that are going to get you organized, get you sit, things ready to you're getting things ready to do something that would be in your business. So the number one thing that agents probably do wrong is they spend too much time getting ready and working on their business. They're uh, working, at, just learning their tools and technology. Now, especially new agents that are brand new to the business, you spend a lot of time on your business. I'd rather you spend more in your business, start making some calls, jumping out there, and we'll help you train you <laughs> once you find the business. So a lot of new agents get discouraged because they spend a lot of time because there's lots of bells and whistles. There's lots of things out there. There's lots of technology to learn, systems. You're hearing this. You're reading articles. You're you're uh, going on our, our 21 online special share sent to 21 home star agents and you're going into our university and they're telling you what tool to use and what system to use and how to use this and how to use that you can spend eight hours days weeks months you can spend a whole year on all of our things getting ready and working on your business but eventually you have to work in your business you got to make those calls you got to get do those things that you need to get done to find business and get business and work with buyers and works with sellers I've had some agents that spent, you know, I, I coach them. I said, what did you do this week? I said, well, I took about five different classes and, and online and I'm in different programs and on our university. That's great, but this is the percentage you have to think about. So the percentage that I feel is where you should be is 80% of your time should be in your business. On, I, my, my feeling is on the phone. Just that's easy thing. If I'm not on the phone 80% of my work day, then I feel like I did not accomplish what I want to do. So you should be on the phone face to face, not really now with COVID, but uh, talking to people or on the phone talk, calling your sphere or your prospecting doing something to communicate with people and sometimes agents forget you know uh, am I in am I working in the business or am I working on the business my my opinion is most of the time 80% of the time if you are not on the phone communicating with someone you're not working in your business well I mean there's other ways but that's the easy way to draw the line because sometimes you go all day long if you go all day long without talking to someone a new uh, prospect or new uh, uh, your database someone about real estate and putting them on your database and finding out when they're buying or selling in the future or giving you a referral if you're not on the phone a lot with that when you're not working on your current clients then you're not in your business you're probably flipped around you're probably working 80% of your time on your business and not 
and 20% in your business. Should be the other way around. So just to give you like an example, you know, about my day. I spend my day, um, geez, I'm on the phone all the time. <laughs> so I, what I do is when I, I feel like I need, uh, most of my days are spent on the phone, either coaching, mentoring, helping agents with basically anything that they need and recruiting new agents and growing our office. Those are my, my focus every day is that scheduling time. So a lot of you that I coach and mentor, uh, you know, I schedule times with you. I have half hour on the half hour right now. I used to do hour on the hour, but now, you know, some of you, I'm sorry, I got cut you off after about a half hour because I got to get to someone else. Uh, but every half hour on the half hour, I'm, other than when I'm doing this video and getting ready for this video, uh, I do that at nights. I work on my business. I work on creating things, organizing things, organizing my day, you know, helping agents create things uh, that will benefit them and benefit the office. So similar to you, you during the day, I mean, if you want to work you know, 12 hours a day, but during the day should be the time that you're in your business, on the phone, talking to people. Nights, weekends that you're not showing houses, I think that's a good time. That's work on your business. Sit there when it's quiet and you're not, you don't want to make calls or you're not, you're not already out with a buyer or seller at that time and work on your business. You need both. That's, that's the next important thing. You need both because if you are out there in your business, Try prospecting, 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 trying to find business. You will get it. You will get the business. And then you won't have the systems, the tools, the things to keep that business going. Example, you, I, have, I have agents and it's a good problem to have. All of a sudden, I have three or four buyers. And they go, how do I show these three or four buyers? Now, some of them just fall across them, but some of them are actually prospecting and calling. Now I go, I made the calls. Now I got three buyers. I want to see houses on Saturday. I don't have time. Then we have people that could help you. You have agents that help you. Then you reach out to the office and we'll help you work in your business and help you with things. We, we do that every week. We have several agents that call us, you know, have, have an extra buyer need of agent over here um, going out of town uh, whatever reason they need help so we'll help you with that so you need both you need to be work on your business so you have those systems those the contact management systems the the ad, Facebook ads the you got to work on your listing presentation you got to work on how to uh, buyer presentations you got to work on your scripts things you got to do in the background basically almost anything that's not direct contact with someone else you've got to work on those things that organize you but watch your time what keep just be honest with yourself when you at the end of the day, Say, what did I spend most of my time with today? How much did I work? Uh, and I'll say this to you. When you talk to me, you're working on your business, not in your business. So sometimes agents call me. I talk to agents. Many of you love talking with you. I love it. But sometimes I feel occasionally a couple times a week that someone's calling me just to, to figure about something out about their business or brainstorm or whatever. Uh, and they think that's work. They, they think they're working in their business. No, that's on your business. That's 20% of your time. So talk to me is not in your business. I'm not a client, possible client of yours. When you talk to me, you are working on your business, how to organize it, brainstorm on prospecting, working on your presentation, role playing, all the different things I do during my coaching and, and uh, support for all of our agents. So, so that's it for today. Hopefully that gives you a little idea to think about what's the difference on there, where you should be spending a majority of your time and be honest with yourself of what you're doing every day because if you, you won't succeed if you spend more time working on your business, not in the business, and you got to know the difference. So that's it. Have a great Friday, a great weekend, and we're back online here, uh, high noon on Monday. And remember, reach out to me if you need anything. I'm available seven days a week. Schedule times to coach and mentor you if you need help with anything. Of course, if you're working on something right away, call the office, text us, or uh, get a hold of me right away. But schedule time with me if you work, want to work on your business. I love doing this. I love helping agents and work on their business to get them organized and get them ready to for the future success and get you to the next level. 
All right. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.